Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Have you ever had the problem of trying to measure some kind of cylinder or something, a pipe that runs from the ceiling to the floor, and it's really difficult to get an accurate measurement? Stay tuned and I'll give you a simple solution. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Recently, I had the dilemma of trying to accurately measure the inlet into my dust collector system. Now, it was not easy uh, to get the side-to-side -side measurement, the true diameter, and the option of taking off the top so you could just measure across the top, went in a lot of work to do that. And you may have something like that also, where you have a pipe that is in a room that goes through from the floor to the ceiling, you just can't get to the end of it, and you need to get an accurate measurement around it for a fitting or something like that. Well, there's a really simple solution to how to do that, and it's simply using two framing squares that are lined up to create a giant caliper. And as you can see here, just by keeping the two tongues of the uh, framing squares so that the blades are running parallel, if I keep this all lined up, as I slide that back, it's gonna show the measurement of this distance on the back square. Now, I like to use these contrasting squares because it makes it really easy to read the scale. And using this colored one here, where it's red with white markings, makes it really easy to see the marking. So, as you can see here, where I was trying to measure the diameter of the inlet here by just using a tape measure on both sides, it's really inaccurate and impossible to see the two edges and to know exactly what you're looking at. So I thought what to do and remembered seeing uh, another person do this somewhere along the line and gave it a shot and it really worked. And I just simply lined up the two on out, uh, both outside edges of the inlet pipe and then uh, lined up the body of the square here and got an accurate measurement. Well, let's slow it down just a little bit and try it here. Let's suppose I'm just using this coffee can uh, for sake of illustration, but sure, if you had the access to the top, you just measure across the top and you'd be done. But that's not the problem we're trying to solve. Let's suppose, just for illustration purposes, this is a pipe that's extending from the surface and going out through the ceiling or it goes to a, a, you know, some other uh, inaccessible area. How do you measure the diameter? Again, once again, all you're gonna do is take two squares, line them up, line up both of these edges here, choose the approximate size, get around it, bring the two in, and then you can either release or just read. And there you can see the actual dimension is just uh, four and an eighth fat, or maybe four and three sixteenths. Really quick way to do this, using tools you most likely already have in your shop. If you have a great tip like this you'd like to share with your fellow viewers, do so in the description below and we'll get the word out. If you found this video to be helpful, please like it and better yet, subscribe to our channel. And when you do, ring the bell and that way you'll get notified immediately, approximately every Friday, of another great video focusing on the home, the kitchen, the shop, the yard, just great product reviews that we use around the home. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.